So guys and girls and whatever you want to be, we are on another adventure. Four days after the last one, we're fully packed again, as you can see, D2, comfortable seats, lovely. We're on our way to, well, first of all, rugby. Uh, we're going to meet up with a lad, bit of breakfast, lads, lads, lads. No, it's not really. <laughs> it's pretty chilled. It's going to be a chilled weekend. Nothing crazy, anything like last weekend. But uh, yeah, it's a nice chilled weekend. We've taken the kids as well. So I've got Lacey, uh, a couple of mates taking their daughters. So you'll see about the bushcraft show. There's so much to like get everybody involved in outside stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. So really enjoyed last week. Uh, last week? Yeah, enjoyed last weekend. But you know what I mean. I enjoyed last year, let's put it that way. Enjoyed last year, so we booked it again. What we're gonna try and do is get Lacey booked onto more uh, like workshops and classes this year as well. The sun is beaming down, it's like half eight in the morning. So yeah, it's gonna be a warm one. Like I said, the weather looks really good. Lots to do and just have a super chilled sort of weekend with a good, a good bunch of guys, do you know what I mean? And um, yeah. Let's see what it's all about. Don't forget, smash the like, hit the subscribe, leave me a comment, and the biggest thing about the YouTube videos at the minute is just sharing them. If you can share it, much appreciated. So, uh, right, let's get some miles in. Let's get some brekkie. is us that's met up. Uh, Rich is over there. We're just having some grub. Double check everything on the motor. It's only around the corner for the Bushcraft Show. If I get out vehicles, I do apologise. So, here we are. We need a modification. Online for dummies. How to fit an awning. <laughs> That, what it is. I've made the oh, the scratchy, scratchy. Landed, and I need to come to them. If they're just pushed out of it, it'll be good to go. See, this is the problem with an expensive awning. You know, you've got to modify it as well. <laughs> We've arrived at uh, the new Overland section at the Bushcraft Show. You can see, actually see the hall down there. Everyone's just coming in, setting up. Uh, that's the main arena and everything over there, so we're quite close to that, which is great. But yeah, all side, oh, all of we are set up. Anyway, let's put it that way. We're just expecting a truck, um, and we've got Tim coming with his Landian trailer in the back there. But uh, as you can see, I need my shades on. The sun is out, and uh, yeah, setting up for a good weekend. So at this stage, we, I say, it was the Friday, so we had a quick walk around. Uh, found this guy selling homemade mead. Um, literally, it was it was great. All the labels were sort of waxed on the cells. It was a fantastic little store. But obviously, you see there as well, medieval social distancing with a sword. Absolutely great. But yeah, this was the Friday. Um, not a lot was open. People were just pulling up, starting to set up. Some cool little quirky things like this, this stuffed thing. I mean, this guy, this jerky guy, oh my days. He was a legend. Uh, beef jerky of absolutely all sorts. All sorts there was. Um, we ended up like just nibbling on a few bits. <laughs> YouTube fight. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we ended up going back to that store quite a bit, to be fair. Nibbles and uh, beer. But yeah, they've got military marts, everything like that there. Um, all second-hand gear. You can see just in the distance that tree house there. Uh, the bar actually was underneath that. It was great, a separate little bar. Um, you can see Tony setting up as well. Mason Bushcraft, nice. Make sure you go check him out because some of his gear is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, you'll see it now sort of thing. But some of his, you know, the prices are absolutely reasonable. Um, unlike some other stores that was there. So we've had a good afternoon, haven't we? It's been chilled, hasn't it? What have you bought? Already. Crystals and a bag. Crystals and a bag, separate. And, it's special. and that means separate cost as well. But 
no, there's a lot of people pulling in now so canoe people are just pulling in for the lake tomorrow but uh yeah it's been a really chilled afternoon we managed to set up wait for a few people to turn up and uh crack a beer open we'll get some food and we'll uh, we'll enjoy the evening So we've had some grub, decided to eat out tonight, even though we've got like loads and loads and loads of food. But yeah, we're eating out. But as you can see, the sun is out. Shadow. Everyone's chilling out. The girls are all in Tim's trailer, literally all on iPads. Said the board, because nothing, not a lot's open, but gives us a bit of time, doesn't it? So we've got five or 10 minutes just to chill, have a couple of beers, but yeah. As you can see, the overland section is filling out quite nicely. I'll take you for a decent walk around tomorrow, separate it up. So we've got the overland section that's in a different position this year, which is working really well. Big bar, but like I say, a lot of people, are it's Friday night, so a lot of people are turning up and positioning themselves, getting themselves set up. We'll do the overland section uh, first thing in the morning, try and get some drone footage. And then what we'll do as well is take you around the bushcraft show, because a lot of people that watch the channel are uh, do a lot of the overlanding and day trips and all laning and everything like that but they don't do the bushcraft side and everyone's like oh are you into the bushcraft side i'm like yeah yeah so the bushcraft show is very family friendly um and the main point of it is to get people out in the open which is absolute key i think to absolutely everything really in life uh, it just makes you feel good especially when the sun's out so uh Right, we'll see. We'll have a couple of beers. Bit of peace, because it is. It is so peaceful compared to a normal show. So, uh, yeah, a couple of beers, and I'll uh, bring you back. So we're all at the Bushcraft show, because we're Bushcraft, and this is official Bushcraft show style. <laughs> <laughs> see you in a bit, mate. Ta-da. Professional Bushcrafter, right there. I can Bushcraft while you can. See there, girls. Bye. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Morning, everyone. So, we have had breakfast. We've booked all the kids, including this big kid over here. Okay, in me shot. Cut him out. <laughs> We've booked all the kids. They're busy all day. Well, majority of all day. <laughs> We booked all the kids on. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, we booked all the kids on stuff, so they've got loads to do, so we'll show you that. Um, they don't actually charge a lot as well, it's only like a couple of quid here and there, so, but it does keep them busy. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, beautiful day. Ugly person there, ugly person there. <laughs>
kids are dropped off. <laughs> so it's our time now. We can actually get a proper look around. I can show you around the show. And uh, as you can see, there's talks going on over there. I'm not sure what there is, but we're gonna head that way. It's like in a triangle section. So we're gonna walk all the way around, actually get some proper footage. And uh, yeah, let's have a look what's about. been an absolute cracking day on it like yeah. you've been super busy on activities um yeah just like walk around absolutely like you can see the vibe of the place it's just so chill um i can't unless you actually come and visit you just won't get how chilled it is it's like not like normal shows um you can come back have a granny nap if you wanted to um it's just super chill. Obviously, we've got the pump going at the minute. You can probably hear that in the background. But generally, like I say, it's just super chill. Everyone's sort of like-minded. Um, there's just so much for the kids to do as well. Um, so, like, adults get a bit of time. Um, but, yeah, it's been a cracking day, hasn't it? Yeah, I thought it might have been. Uh, we've got loads to do tomorrow as well. Um, literally, I mean, price of stuff for the kids is it's pittance, really. For what they actually get out of it um met so many nice people as well or a lot of people interested in the trailer just come along had a quick look um like oh you built it it was like yeah yeah so yeah it's been a really good day on it really good day so we're probably going to settle down now have a couple of beers and uh enjoy the night because we've got a nice sunset oh here he is again it's nigel look nigel <laughs> but it's it's been a cracking day on it he's it it's really has. Halfway between really chilled and really, really busy. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's awesome wandering around and looking at the stuff, but then you get in everybody's vehicles and everyone wants to show you something, but then you want to look at something. So it's like, yeah. Like now, I've just lost two and a half hours and it feels like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But it, uh, you can still come back to camp and it's just super oh, yeah. chilled, come back, isn't it? Get a drink, wander over there, yeah. and it's chilled for an hour. It is. It's, it's it mega. is. It is. I just said, unless you come and actually visit it, I think you, you just don't get the vibe, do you? Is with this little overland zone, it's yeah. all like-minded people. You're yes. all into the same stuff. Yeah. It's all the same vehicles that you, you know, you, you, yeah. you're round all the time. Everyone watches out for everyone as well. But sort then of the thing. beauty yeah. of it is, you go down to the show bit, and it's not like 
a Land Rover show where you've got the chavs nicking winches no. and people gobbing yeah. off. And it's like-minded people that, you it's know. It's just steady. It it's is like, really steady, if, yeah. if anything, we're the Asbo crew. Yeah. <laughs> D2, obviously. <laughs> but no, it has been Lots an absolute bangs, banging day. Uh, we've had some burgers. We're just going to sit by the fire, chill out, and prep ourselves ready for tomorrow. Another busy day. We've got loads booked in again. Might have to go for a swim. I'm thinking a bit of a swim. Me if too. it's this weather again. I'm thinking of a swim now, Yeah. to be fair. I'm not so, going to lie. A little bit of something to eat. Yeah. Go against the rules, you know, really. If we uh, get stitched, you reckon we should asbo it? A couple of cans down by the lake. That's mm. what we used to do. You know? no, should we I'm, do I'm, it? I'm thinking that. Hmm. Should we do it? If we do, I'll bring you along. Shall Let's I do see. Him? Shall I Shall do, I do him? him? I've popped He'll around. My pants down. <laughs> Shall I do it? I fancy it, but it'll give me a ride by the king, won't it? But yeah. Yeah. Do fancy it. Big time. Fuck him. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. He's popped her out. Here he is. He ain't seen me yet. Grand Dad! He's done him! He's done him! He's done him! I best get back to the farm, Sherry, and uh, hide. He's gonna have my fucking pants down. He did not, he did not look happy. If we do it, I'll bring you along and you can see us. <laughs> So, we all thought it was a really good idea to grab the towels at half seven, eight o'clock at night. And we saw the lake and was like, yeah, we're going to go for a dip. Why not? And here we see the lesser spotted Rogmunda. <laughs> In his natural habitat. sleep we had last night that was absolutely fantastic we had a cracking night a cracking day <sighs> probably had about nine hours kip until what woke me up not an alarm it's a vehicle alarm <laughs> so when lee turned up everyone was like oh we're awake but uh no absolutely getting prepared for a cracking day again can't wait i think the missus is coming over with the other kids so we can fully experience the full bull bushcraft show today. Uh, get all the kids involved in stuff again. And actually have a nice walk around. So, yeah, bring you back in a bit. Old China boy. So if you have trained them too tough in the way they did it, so they didn't, they didn't complain. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you're alright. There you go, you're in. Douche. That's it, backwards. Backwards. That's it. Off you go. So guys, uh, lack of footage on Sunday, but 
it is what it is. Um, we really enjoy the day. I can't, like I said before, you cannot stress enough unless you actually come to the show. You can see behind me, it's been absolutely epic once again. Um, like I said before, there's not much I can say without saying it twice or three times, but you need to come to visit the show to feel how chilled it is. It's one of those things. Um, we've just watched the Ray Mears chat um, that he does in the tent. Um, and then they sort of did the Overland section, um, which we managed to get a third prize on. I'll show you the trophy in a minute, because it's not here. Um, presentation was a bit, uh, yeah, yeah, it was a prize. It was one of those things. Wasn't expecting it, but uh, was just told to be there at four o'clock. And uh, yeah, all of a sudden they shouted my name out, so it's a bit shocking, but yeah, they're just all enjoying it on the kayaks behind us. Where are we? Over there. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna enjoy it with a couple of beers again, because it's just that sort of environment. A couple of beers, chill out, cook some burgers, and uh, enjoy the sunset once again. Bank holiday as well, so yeah, happy days. You happy boy? <laughs> that big smile on his face. Good morning. It was one of those nights where it turned into. I mean, look at Bob. Look at Bob. You think big Bob's is big? Hey, look at Lee's drunk. But uh, no, it did turn into one of those nights where we sat down, had a couple of beers, had food, was constantly cooking oh, on the fire. And uh, yeah, turned into one of those nights where we just literally didn't realise the time. And it's like, oh, okay, maybe we should get to bed. Um, but yeah, what a banging weekend. Just going to slowly start packing up. I know the video's been a bit... Uh, here and there sort of thing but you really need to just enjoy the weekend and yeah so much going on at the same time and you can see the setting in between the trees so yeah so that's what we're gonna do get packing up slowly i think we're probably gonna cheat this morning and have uh, take our breakfast yeah Oh, it's not been a bad breakfast. Look at that. Yes. Mmm. Banging sausage. <laughs> Morning's away. Roof tent next. Have a minute. Have a brew. And uh, yeah, just clear sight up a bit. You see there's bits and bobs around. I just want to make it fully clear. And uh, clear, clear, clean. Fully clean, full clean down. Pack away. I'm not going to go for another walk round because uh, I can just keep giving you B-roll after B-roll after B-roll. But if you want to see B-roll, it's not a problem. But I need to try and make some sort of video out of all the footage we've got. So hopefully you have enjoyed the video. It's not promotion for the bushcraft show or anything like that. It's just a bit of a vlog to show you what the bushcraft show is about. Um, but, oh, face full of ash. As you can hear, the wind's gone. Um, so yeah, it was more of just showing you what the show's about, because a lot of people are interested, but don't wanna, don't wanna come, if that makes sense. So, it was more of showing people around, what's around, kids absolutely love it, and uh, yeah, we can go from there. So guys, like I say, don't want to ramble on, but that was another fantastic show. Absolutely fantastic. Do me window, you might be able to hear me. <coughs> yes, absolutely great show. Absolutely loved it. Um, like I say, year on year, just keep going back sort of thing. Bring in a friend, uh, bring in a few people and go, and literally everyone that I brought this year has been like, oh yeah, I get what you mean, but uh, no. Massive shout out to the Bush Show, obviously, for putting it all on. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit tired today, as you can probably tell, but 
we're gonna head back I've got things to do ready for work and um, yeah get prepped but what can I say absolutely shattered but that's a good thing I've had a cracking weekend with the lads and not only that daddy daughter time which is absolutely fantastic um, so much for him to do just loved it absolutely loved it um, but yeah until next time